My lips are very chapped. There's not much I can do about it. And my, I have to speak a little bit weird because I got my wisdom teeth out. <coughs> Let me at least clear my throat. I got my wisdom teeth out like, what is it now? Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Three, almost four days ago now. And I'm still, I got all four out. So it's still kind of weird. But I wanted to start filming this video because I need to wash my hair. And this is, as you can see from the title, a review of Fenty Hair. Rihanna's new beauty brand. Well, I guess it's under Fenty Beauty, but the hair is new. If you know about Rihanna, if you know about Robin, I have really high expectations because pretty much every product I try from her, it hits. So I got the conditioner. It is 10 ounces. This is the curl defining cream, the home curl, like home girl. Nice play in words, Rihanna loves to do that. And I am pleasantly surprised by how big this is. It's 11.5 ounces and I should have looked at it before I bought it, but for some reason, like I was not expecting this much product. I think this is actually a very fair amount of product. I'm going to be reviewing these products on my hair, which is very, very, very tight 4C hair. I always say if like there's a such thing as 4Z hair, that would be my hair type. And I'm also going to review these products on my daughter's hair. It's 3A, I'd say maybe subsections 3B. And as she's getting older, her hair is actually getting curlier. When she was super little, her hair was like straight and then it got wavy and then yeah, it just has progressed. So we'll see where her hair turns out as she gets older. And then my son, he has, I'd say like 3C. I feel like his hair is actually doing the opposite. His hair is getting less curly. So I don't know. It's just so interesting to see like how baby's hair change. But yeah, I'm going to review it on all our hair types just so it kind of brings more variety to the video depending on what hair type you have or if you're like me and you have a certain hair type and your kids have a certain hair type or your partner has a different hair type. Um, I thought that'd be more helpful. For me, when it comes to like a hair product line, conditioner and any like type of styling cream is most important. I'm not as picky about shampoos, but conditioners, especially for my hair type, I need the conditioner to really moisturize my hair, give my hair a lot of slip, so I'm not having a hard time detangling and make sure that that moisture is actually staying. Like it's not just once I wash out the conditioner, my hair feels like bone dry, especially because I have quite dry hair. I feel my hair, my voice is already giving out. So I've probably chatted enough. Let's hop in the shower. I'm in the baby's bathroom actually because our showers are having some issues. So it's switching it up because I film in our bathroom a lot. I was gonna try and record with the shower on, but I think it's too loud. So I have washed my hair, as you can see. Let's go in with the conditioner. It has those little infographics in case you don't know how to wash your own hair. Ooh, she's thicky, thick, thick. I'm gonna get a lot. So immediate thoughts before putting it in. I think this is gonna be better for if you have, um, mm, I like that smell. If you have a tighter curl texture because it is very, very thick, which is good for me, but if you have a looser curl texture, it might weigh down your curls. But I guess it also depends on how dry your hair is. So as I said, my son has more dry hair than my daughter and a tighter curl texture. Um, so we'll see, but immediately, ooh, I can see that my hair is soaking it up because you see how it's like, you see the difference between this side and this side I can see more of my actual curl texture. I'm not gonna flash you like this. As far as the smell, it's quite floral, um, perfumey. I actually don't think I need that much. That was quite a lot. I'm gonna do this much for the next section. But yeah, it has quite, I like it, but much more floral and perfumey than I was expecting for a uh, conditioner especially. Immediate thoughts before actually like trying to detangle and rinse it out. I'm giving it like a nine out of 10. I think I love how thick it is. I need a thick, thick conditioner for my hair type. I'm just hoping that after I wash it, that hydration and that the thickness from the product is still keeping my hair very hydrated. And we'll also see how it is detangling, but I always leave conditioner in for like 10, 15 minutes before detangling. All right, say let's detangle. I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see, but I can really see my curls. Great slip. I am very satisfied. I will show you what my hair looks like after I detangle and rinse the conditioner out. Once I am styling my hair tonight, I will show you how the curl cream looks. This has been my go-to way to like kind of stretch out my hair lately. Oh, but taking it out is like a quick stretch out. Taking it out is not the most fun, but I just use scrunchies and section my hair into two and then let it dry for the day. I do this when I don't have like 
overnight to dry my hair. And as I said, we're going on a little date night. So this is what my hair is looking like. Let's try out the curl cream. Quite sticky. See that? All right, let's mix it in and let's shuffle that through all the hair. Definitely adding some moisture to the smell is not as floral as the conditioner, but does still have that perfumey smell a little. I like it. I don't think it's defining my curls too much. I think this is actually gonna work better for my kids who have a looser curler pattern. I'll use a little bit more. I so far prefer the conditioner. I don't think I'd buy this again. I'm sorry, Fenty. I'm sorry, Rihanna. But I just, I feel like it's very similar to a lot of curl creams I have that are more affordable. I had to look at the ingredients. Maybe the ingredients are better. I actually think the conditioner did a better job of defining my curl. So, so far, conditioner, I would give, especially after the fact, like after I was detangling and everything, conditioner, Nine out of 10, the only reason I'm docking one point, it's a little, the smell's a little intense for me. The curl cream for my hair, I would give like a six out of 10. It's fine, nothing special. It's not bad, but I do have a feeling I'm gonna get a higher rating when I use it on my kid's hair. So we'll see. I'll check back in then. There's my puppy. <laughs> Doing a voiceover for this portion of the video because while I'm watching Jude's hair, I let her watch a show depending on the mood. Some days I can just like talk to her and she's fine, other days she's not having it. So I thought the voiceover would be easier. I went in with the conditioner expecting that it would be too thick for her hair just because her hair is less curly than mine and then she actually also has like thinner hair. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised. I just use significantly less than I use in my own hair and then I didn't section off her hair when I was adding it. And it actually works super well. Again, the slip is great. I think I ended up adding a little bit more because I felt some areas that were a little bit dry. Let it sit for I think like 10 minutes or so. And then while it's detangling, very easy to to detangle she didn't complain at all which also is the unbrush I have a video on the unbrush if you want to watch that sometimes she will complain also when I'm detangling even with the unbrush but with this conditioner she didn't complain washed it out her hair still felt very hydrated and didn't feel dry at all because her hair is thin um, I feel like it doesn't get as dry as my hair but it definitely still gets dry over time and having a good conditioner helps with that. For my daughter's hair I would still rate the conditioner like a 9 out of 10 how I rated mine which already shows how great of range it has because her hair again is more like 3A, 3B and my hair is 4C, 4Z quote unquote if that exists. Now moving on to the styling cream. I had my daughter's hair drying in this towel for maybe five minutes or so I also put leave-in conditioner I always put leave-in conditioner immediately after I wash her hair but that's what, what this video is about and so I took her hair down her hair is still pretty damp but nothing crazy I'm getting a little bit of moisture out and also like scrunching her hair a little bit to help with those curls and then I added the curl cream and as expected I definitely like it better for her hair versus mine I would give it like an eight out of mm, I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna say eight out of ten this is what her hair looks like mostly dry we have a little bit of frizz so I'm doing the laundry a little frizz there but the rest her girls look juicy and hydrated and they're not like crunchy I hate when like you feel especially her texture hair and it's like crunchy they're still soft but nice and bouncy and hydrated so I think it looks great what do you think miss girl Huh? Huh? Moving on to my sweet, sweet baby boy's hair. I washed his hair with his normal shampoo and then went in with the conditioner. I used quite a small amount because he just has the least amount of hair and his hair is probably the thinnest. And so I didn't want to like weigh it down, but immediately I was like, the curls are popping. Look how sweet he is. Is he not the cutest baby boy you've ever seen? And yeah, immediately I was like, wow, the curls are really popping. They look great. They look juicy. Combing it was very easy. I don't use an unbrush on his hair. I like to just use a fine comb to make sure I get at any like matting. Again, because he's a baby, he's just on his back more. And then after I let the conditioner sit for like five minutes, his curls are popping even more. For instance, 
tested out, was already so impressed by the conditioner and then added the styling cream. And immediately again, the styling cream, hopefully you can't hear the toilet in the background. Immediately the styling cream was working quite well and I could tell that his curls are gonna look great. Filming Lev's part of this video was a lot more difficult because he's not as interested in TV. So I can't like distract him with that while washing his hair. Obviously he's a baby, so he's getting up and down. You say, what's big sis doing? This is what his hair looks like after the styling cream. His hair is feeling actually a little bit of that crunch that I talked about with Jude's hair, but I think it looks great. His curls are probably popping the most I've seen them ever. So I'm definitely gonna continue using it even though it feels a little crunchy. Maybe that'll go away as his hair dries. I would give it like a nine out of 10 for his hair. Actually, I would give both the conditioner and the styling cream nine out of 10 for Lev. The conditioner worked the best for Lev, as I said. The only reason I'm docking that point is because of that smell, and especially for a baby, I feel like it's a little intense. I'm not sure I'll continue using it for him until he gets a little older. If it wasn't for that scent, and maybe they'll come out with different scents, 10 out of 10. It worked the best for his hair, so good. And then the styling cream actually worked the best for his hair. So maybe if you have like 4A, 3C hair, this is a line for you. I wonder if that's Rihanna's hair type. And so she modeled the line after her hair and like testing out hair, her hair the most. Not certain. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I hope this review was helpful. Really hope testing it on, not testing, but trying it on my hair and my kid's hair is helpful if you, depending on what type of hair texture, curl pattern you have. And I hope you join hanging out with me. Bye.